Welcome back to DIY RV and Home and Camper's Life. My name's Greg and we are back on the RV electrical system upgrade. Today what I'm doing is I'm working on trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to run the wires from the uh, distribution panel to the front of the trailer along with the battery monitor system and the remote switch for the inverter. Um, last video I uh, removed the nails that they had in the um, corrugated plastic for the underbelly along with some screws drop, drop down so I can start looking underneath there I've made some access um, under some cabinets in the bathroom everything like that for my particular trailer um, I think I've got a, a route I'm gonna go and uh, use a rod about a three foot rod along with I've got 15 or excuse me 16 feet of string and that's going to represent the cables that i have or the wires i've got to run for the battery monitor along with the switch um, so if this will make it from there to where i'm going to install the uh, um, unit and everything like that then we're golden if not then i gotta figure out something else so let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead take you inside show you where i'm gonna run this and then we're going to go ahead, shove it through. I'll bring it back and uh, see if we can't get some of this pulled through and see how the routing's going to be. So, back with you in the flash. All right, I'm going to show you the route that I would like to take these wires and hopefully it'll work. Now, I want to have the battery monitor system along with the switch for the inverter in this area right here on my entry wall or on the wall just as I come in right next to my thermostat to do that I'll run them down and this is the inside of the shower on the inside of the wall down below I actually installed a trap door where they had a piece of wood in place and underneath and I'm gonna try to get you to be able to see over there they've already got some cut out in the wall where wires and the hoses for, excuse me, the tubing for the water for the shower to come down. So I don't have to make any holes other than cutting some holes up here. Those will come down and then there's a hole right there for the drain. I want to be able to put the, the wires right there. And you can see I've got a bore scope stuck in there. I want to route the wires the same direction as that bore scope, take them back over to the frame and then dump them down and run them on the inside of the frame to the front. Now that frame that I'm speaking about is nine inches off of these pipes right here, which are the low point drains. So that puts it roughly, if I can get you in here, roughly right about here for where that frame is. So that's not very far to run the wires. And remember, I am working with about 16 feet of length for my cape, for my wiring to run my controls up here. So that is the quickest route to get over there. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to try to take the power cord that I've got going to the automatic transfer switch. And I'm going to route that the same direction. Put all these through the same way. And that way I don't have to make multiple holes. And if it works out fine, I'm not making any holes in the floor. I'm just making a couple holes up here. So, I'm going to take this rod that I showed you, and I'm going to stick it right in here, right where I've got my bore scope in there, and I'm going to shove it through with that string attached, and then I'll go outside, retrieve the string, pull it down, and then we'll start running it towards where I want, and we'll see what we have left inside in the end. Bring it back when I'm further along. Okay, now we've got the wire in place. I've got it shoved down the same uh, direction as I have the bore scope. Bore scope just kind of show me I'm up against the frame. And what I did was I actually pulled the bore scope out, laid them together to where the, the end of the um, bore scope and this were lined together then I shoved them through at the same time. So the wire should be right next to where the bore scope is. I'm leaving it on because there's a little light we're going to go outside, we're going to look underneath, we're going to try to capture that, and then we are going to pull that wire. Looks like we still got a decent amount of wire on the ground, so hopefully uh, 
this is going to work out. Well, I thought I heard a little bit of rain on the roof as I was going outside. And yep, the rain's here. I was hoping that it might have gone around us or something like that, but it's supposed to rain most of the day. So um, since I'm going to be doing a lot of outside work, I'm bagging this one. Hopefully tomorrow they show that there's not going to be any rain. I'll be able to come back and get back on it. Until then, hopefully it's tomorrow. Well, hey, we're back. It's been a little over a week. Uh, it rained us out last, last time. Today, they're calling for snow. I want to get in. I want to make sure that I've got um, enough cable and wires to put the switch and the battery monitor where I want it to be located. So I've already, as I showed in the earlier part of the video, got the wire pushed underneath uh, the floor above the belly pan uh, over. I'm gonna try to reach up there. I'm gonna try to get a hold of that string so I can pull that string. Of course, the string is measured out to the length of the cable that I'm using or that comes with the battery monitor and the switch for the inverter. So let's get in there. Let's try to get that and let's finish getting this portion done today before it starts snowing. Looks like I hopefully got a little bit of time. So I'm going to try to put you in underneath the belly pan in between so you can see um, where I've got stuff. It's going to be hard, of course. I mean, I'm not pulling the belly pan all the way down. So let me try to repos reposition you, all right? got the string this this part of it is actually on that wire this is the free side um, I can't get up there to get the end of it pulled down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have enough leader here I'm gonna pull that wire back in to the trailer try to bring this end back in leaving this out and then I'll just swap the ends around and I'll use this for the chase side uh, and you got to overcome, adapt, and modify sometimes. Let's see if that's going to work. Okay, here's the wire. So I'm going to pull it. And hopefully, I hope I still got the end on it right there so let's go and pull that opposite end out uh, we might have succeeded in chasing that wire it's not fun to chase wire so here we go let's take this one and oh. There it is, yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on running it along where the rest of the wires are. I'm trying to show you what, there's the wires right here. And I'll run it along those right up here because part of them are gonna go in here eventually. And then, uh, actually all of them are going in there. So I've got the string run along the wires coming out. Now it's actually gonna be right over here, punching through the frame right here to come up. And then it's gonna go between this front uh, metal piece for the frame. And here on the front cap, there's a hole that'll get me up into the space in the front of the um, basement here. Um, I've got some repairs to do anyways on it because this, is, this was tore when I came around. We can see that the manufacturer and their wisdom uh, screwed and looks like put a little much too pressure on it and then probably just driving down the road cause it to rip out. Next, um, it's going to come through this frame right here and there's a hole there. 
I'll probably I'll have to put some other holes in because I've got the wires that I'm putting through there are fairly large um, one thing I do see though and I'm glad I'm doing this is right here this wire right here which is getting changed up to a larger size wire anyways it's just sitting there and it's just rubbing against the metal on the frame that's not good over time that could cause a, a short in your system and cause grief so might want to go out there and take a look at yours just see how your wires are running make sure it's not like that uh, 202rd ears for sure go check that out your coleman lantern people um, you can get like this material right here which is just a wire loom and get it in there uh, to protect it if you need to um, back on subject though i've got this tied right here around the frame rail and or excuse me the tongue and that's enough uh, string to uh, simulate that um, running the wire underneath or excuse me inside uh, where I'm going to hook everything up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside. I'm going to pull that string back to get a little tightness in it, take it to slack, and then hopefully I can uh, run it to where I want to put the gate, the switch, and the monitor. So let's jump back inside and get on that.